Hey VC, uh, how's everyone doing? I hope everyone's uh, it's been going good. And I'm happy to say that I just completed my first year of college and I'm finally back home for a while for the summer. And I just want to start out this video with a uh, little bit of v VCLT that I got from Miko. And he sent me these two cassettes for winning his con for getting third in his con contest. And Miko, if you're watching this, they're finally here. It took about a month, it seemed, for this stuff to get here, but this is, this is really cool. Um, I haven't got to listen to them yet because I just got a cassette deck and I don't have a cord for it yet, so I'm working on getting a cord to hook it up to my receiver. So thank you once again, Miko. Um, so anyway, uh, I got a pretty big stack of records here from this week. I guess it's a pretty big stack for me because I tend to buy more expensive records. I'm not really a dollar bin person, but hey, whatever. Found some good things in dollar bins, but I do look through dollar bins, but I don't tend to buy much dollar bin stuff because I don't like to bulk up my collection with stuff I'll probably listen to once. But anyway, here we go. Uh, this first one is the one playing in the background. I found a great copy of this. I just have to give it a little cleaning and it'll be perfect. It's McDonald and Giles. It's a U.S. pressing on Cotillion. And it's just beautiful. Beautiful pressing of this album. And this is a great album. It's hard, very pretty hard to find, but it's a great, great album. Next one is pretty cool. This is The Mothers of Invention. Weasels Rip My Flesh, and this is the German copy, German pressing of this album. Thing about this album, uh, it was $22, but I looked at it and it said it was sealed, but when I got it, picked it up, someone had broken the seal, so I asked them if I could get it cheaper, and then they gave it, they gave it to me cheaper, so really sad that someone just opened it like that. Really sad. Next one is the last one that I got today on my record shopping, and this is a UK copy of Camel's, what's the name of this one? The Single Factor. I think this one came out in 82, something like that. I'm not entirely sure, but if you know, just let me know. And those are the three I got today. I got most of those majority with, with trade that I had, so. Next is stuff that I bought over the past two to three weeks, something like that. Excuse me. The first one is Audion by Synergy. Perfect copy of this album. It's got the insert with it as well. So there's that. I listened to this album and it's really, really good, I thought. It's uh, Joe Jackson. This is Big World. It's a cool record it's got three sides two records and one of the sides says there is no music on this side it's pretty cool but I really liked it it's real ecstasy kind of sounding like stuff like that and then this was kind of a blind buy and it actually turned out pretty good um, it's later prog stuff it's called chase the dragon magnum by magnum and I just had to get it because of the cover. It was like $3. And I've never seen it before. It's also a gold stamp promo. But it was pretty good. It's pretty. It's not the long song prog, but it's got the themes of prog, I guess you'd say. And next, this one was a good find. It was $4. It was family. Anyway, this is live. And I'm not too sure when this came out so 72 something like that maybe 71 I don't know this one was an uh, awesome find this is from Genesis to Revelation this is a UK second pressing not a first pressing but a second pressing it's really good condition on this sorry for all the glare but 
hard to get it without the glitter. Next one, this is the first album I've ever had by this band, and I thought they sounded basically like Genesis if they haven't lost, Genesis in the 80s if they hadn't lost um, Peter Gabriel. It's Marillion. This is Misplaced Childhood. I thought this was really good. I have one of their singles, 12 inch singles, but this is the first album I have by them. Mint Condition. I got that for $3. This one, this was something my girlfriend gave to me for, uh, let me go ahead and open this one up, for our two year anniversary not too long ago. And um, it's uh, Nectar Journey. Journey to the Center of the Eye, and it's a repressing. I played it on um, one of my, my not that well, I guess, not that great turntable at school. It sounded pretty good, but when I put it on this turntable, my really nice turntable, just, I didn't really, it had a lot of pops in it, like, not when it was playing, but when the music got louder, it's on red vinyl, by the way, when it got louder, it just started popping, so I'm going to give it a clean to see if it that helps but I just can't really listen to it it's not her fault but it was something I wanted so she she did pretty good but just really depresses me when some pressings are just not very nice all right funny story about this last album I'm about to show um, I'm gonna show it after I tell the story what happened was I've got a record store downtown in Knoxville that I go to a lot, and I went there one time and they had this album, and I would just been getting into the band, I was like, I'll get it next time, so I go back and guess what, it wasn't there, so I was like, of course they sold it, so I get online to see if I can find a copy, and it's, the copies are going for like $200, $250 on Amazon and there's not even one on eBay so I was like well I missed that chance because they were only pricing it at $25 so um, what happens is a couple weeks later I get on Amazon and I see one's for $25 so I'm just like I'm gonna buy this and I look down and it's the seller is actually the record store so I guess they had it out there so long that no one bought it and they put it online, so I snatched it up because it's you won't I won't get another chance like this. So and this the album is The Sound of Perseverance by Death Death Metal Bam, and this oh man this album is awesome. I loved every second of this album, and it sounds amazing. The only problem I have with it is it just looks like since this was never released on vinyl before, it just looks like they just zoomed into the artwork and it's real it's a little blurry if you look at it from close up but there's that and it's a double vinyl and it's on blood splatter vinyl and I highly highly recommend this album if you're just getting into metal the heavier metal and death metal this is this is the way to go. This this is the best album I've heard by them. Amazing, amazing. I'm so glad I bought this. But yeah, that's basically all I've got for this time. So I'll see you guys later.